Hello and welcome or welcome back to Book Chronicles. Today I'm giving you an updated Kindle TBR. The inspiration for this video came from Heather. She suggested that I do it when I was asking for content ideas. That recommendation led me to do a follow-up with the last Kindle TBR video that I did in 2022 and now I'm here to give you an updated version. So the books on this list will be a combination of things from Kindle Unlimited, I don't really buy Kindle books anymore, but when there's the free downloads for Pack Your Kindle Day, sometimes I'll scroll through and see if there's anything that I like. And a lot of them honestly are just recommendations. I do remember that I specifically asked TikTok for recommendations. Can those recs be trusted? That is yet to be determined, but I'm still gonna give everything a try. Don't expect synopses on these, cause do I ever read them? No. So the first book that I have on my Kindle is Sinful Vow by Asian Monique. This is the first book in the Mafia Misfit series, which is a series about Black Mafia families. I have read this already and I really enjoyed it. This was a recommendation from Heather and I have this on the list because even though at the time that I'm recording this and I'm doing Read What You Own, I can't download anything else, but I am very determined to finish the series and catch up to wherever she is, which I believe is book six or seven. I just want to catch up, so I'm putting it in here for accountability purposes. Next, I have Let Me Love You by Alexandria House. This is the first book in the McLean Brothers series. I've not yet read anything by this author. This was also a recommendation that Ashley from Bookish Realm had given a few times, and if I'm not mistaken, the male main character in the series is a rapper. Not sure how I'm going to feel about that, but very interested to try it. Everyone that I know that has read this has loved it, so I'm excited to get to it. Next is Fans Only by Beloved. This was also a recommendation that Ashley gave. From my understanding, this is a friends to lovers story, which is not something that I like, but I'm willing to give it a try. And they decide to basically start an OnlyFans to make money and I guess they end up falling in love in the process. Then I have Boot Up, which I think is a Halloween novella. Again, another recommendation from Ashley. And yeah, that's all I know. I don't know anything else. That's it, that's all I got. Next is Before We Fall. This is the second book in the Unexpected Lover series by Realzy Adams. The first one was Go Deep. That one was also Friends to Lover, so I didn't love it, but I also didn't hate it. And I am curious about this couple since it is companion novel. Saw a little bit about them in the first one, but we didn't really get the full story and I am intrigued. In this story, I believe the female main character recently left her husband. I'm not 100% sure why, but I think he may have been abusive. So I'm interested to see what happened and also hopefully get a glimpse of the couple from the first book. So these next two were definitely from TikTok and I don't know what they're about, but they were recommended and I don't know if I'm gonna like them. Don't tell me anything. I'm just gonna go in blind like I typically do and see what happens. The first one is The Brutal Prince. I assume this is some sort of dark romance, which is something that I haven't really like gone out of my way to test yet. So I guess this will be it. And Den of Vipers. Now I feel like I've heard very mixed things about this one and I feel like I'm probably gonna DNF it, but like I said, I'm still gonna give it a try. Then I have Along for the Ride by Mimi Grace. I have not read anything by this author yet, but I really want to. She writes a lot of contemporary romances and all of her books have very cute cartoon covers and I love cartoon covers, so Hopefully I like this because I do want to read some for other stuff. Next I have The Enforcer by Katrina Jackson. This is the family number two or three. I think two because I think Beautiful and Dirty which I read was a novella and then I DNF'd The Hitman and that was the first full novel I think. Anyway this was a recommendation from Heather and in this one both of the main characters don't want kids and I love that because I can relate and I often feel like whenever there is especially a woman who doesn't want kids she almost always ends up changing her mind and I hate that. So hopefully I like this one and if I do I will continue the series. I think The Dawn is just the last one and that's about the couple from the first novella maybe? I don't know if I have that right I'll check in with Heather at some point. Next I <laughs> Next is Ice Planet Barbarians. I downloaded this because I did a live show with Brie, Nicole, and Heather. Brie wanted to read Ice Planet Barbarians and Nicole said she would read it with them. I think Heather and Nicole have already read it. I got roped into it and then I roped Robin into it but then Brie didn't have time and I don't check my Kindle often so I forgot that it was there. But Robin and I have been doing one buddy read a month, so I'm gonna see if I can convince her to read it. Next is Mr. Librarian by B Love. Again, I don't know what this is about. It was another recommendation from Ashley. I assume it's about a sexy librarian and that is all I need to know. 
Next, I have Feed by Avita Vice. This was a recommendation from Heather because Avita Vice is one of her favorite authors. I think this is a novella and then there might be a full length novel that comes after it. Is this the one with the succubus? I don't know how I feel about that, but we gonna give it a try. Then I have Love on the Edge by Carrie Evelyn. I don't know what this is. Maybe I actually should look that one up because I really don't know what it's from. Okay, this is about a woman who is being stalked. And oh, it's a bodyguard romance. Okay, I think that's why I downloaded it because I wanted to try a bodyguard romance. Okay, all right, there's that. Then I have another one that I'm not sure where I got it from. Okay, so the next one is The Good Girl by Tracy Reed. Good Girl Part 1, apparently. Um, this one is a fake dating something or other. I don't know. We'll see. I just realized that I have the entirety of the Wright Brother series by CCJ. I've read the first one, Getting Schooled, really liked it. Forgot that I had the rest, so I need to get to those ASAP. Then I have Death by Dumpling. This is the first in a cozy mystery series. I have not yet tried any other cozy mystery series since I started reading Arsenic and Adobo. None that I've liked anyway, but I am still interested to try more, so hopefully I do enjoy this one. Next I have Have We Met. I have heard good things about this and I think there's a sequel to this one if I'm not mistaken. From my understanding this is just contemporary romance, so hopefully I enjoy it. And then the last thing that I have on my Kindle is The Risk. This is the first in the Mindfuck series. This was in the last video too. I just hadn't gotten to it yet. But it is about a female serial killer who is dating the FBI agent who is trying to catch her. He doesn't know that he's trying to catch her though. So that sounds pretty good. All right, so those are all of the books that I currently have downloaded on my Kindle. I don't know when I'm gonna get to these. However, I do anticipate to at least make a little bit of a dent. I think I wanna get through at least half of that list. So hopefully I can make that happen. I will definitely be catching up on the Mafia Misfits series in April though. So I'm excited to try all of these, see what I like, see what I don't like. I feel like I'm kind of just winging it, but whatever. Let me know if you have any of the books on this list or if any of them are on your TBR. Otherwise, that's all I have for you today and I'll see you in the next video.